sandstone buildings are some of the most distinctive man-made structures in upstate New York. In fact, about 90% of all cobblestone buildings in the United States can be found here, mostly in Wayne, Monroe, and Ontario counties. Cobblestone construction techniques were used to build structures in at least four of the architectural styles popular during the 19th century, Federal, Greek Revival, Gothic, and Italianate. Most of the cobblestone buildings you see in the area today are farmhouses built between 1825 and 1860. However, there were once many other kinds of cobblestone structures, including churches, schools, and stores. There were also barns, smokehouses, mills, carriage houses, blacksmith shops, and privies made with cobbles. After the Civil War, cobblestone construction was replaced by cheaper and more efficient building methods. Instead of heavy timbers and complicated joinery, builders used mass-produced bricks and thinner standardized lumber from sawmills. Known as balloon frame construction, it's a technique that's still in use today. The reason why there are so many cobblestone buildings in Genesee country can be summed up in one word, geology. Very simply, upstate New York has got a lot of cobbles, fist-sized rocks left behind many thousands of years ago by the Ice Age glaciers that once covered North America. There are two basic types of cobbles, both made of the same kind of stone. Fieldstone cobbles are angular, but without sharp edges or corners. Lake-washed cobbles are well-rounded. They're called lake-washed because they were collected along the shores of Lake Ontario, mostly near Sodus in Wayne County.